OK, but of course there's going to be somebody out there who says, oh, well, you, you didn't need to like group all your um, backing vocals onto that auxiliary channel strip by sending them all to a bus so you could raise and lower them all relative to the mix as a group, you know. You could have used the group feature to do that. And uh, if they were from up north, they'd be right. Um, I better just show you that to just to show you that actually yes that is another way you could do it okay again I'm gonna hold down shift and highlight them all like that and take them out of bus one I'm going to assign their outputs of the, all the channel strips for those backing vocals now so they're going back to the stereo output again all right now they're bypassing this auxiliary channel completely 96 degree okay Okay, now, if you look at this grey empty box on each channel strip, look, if you left click on it, it's the group settings and there are 32 available groups that you can put channels into. And because they're all already highlighted, if I've put one of them into a group, they'll all go into a group. So I'll put them all into group one. There you go. And now that they're all in group one, if I raise or lower one of their faders, the others all follow whilst keeping their relative levels. So yeah, you could have done it like that. And just to show you, if I left click on any of the channels group slot, you know, this empty grey box with a one in it, um, and look at the group settings, you can see that by default only the volume, that's the fader, and the mute affects everything that's put into that group. OK, if I mute one, they all mute. If I raise the fader or lower the fader, they all raise and lower whilst keeping their levels. But nothing else is part of that group. But you can clearly see in the group settings, you can put pretty much everything in the channel strips into a group. And you can turn individual groups on and off as well. OK, but we don't want to get into that now. We'll, we'll come to that at another chapter because it's useful, but we don't want to get distracted. All right. So, yeah, if I put them all into a, a, an automation group, I could raise and lower their faders relative to the rest of the mix whilst keeping their relative levels to each other. It's true, but I'm just going to highlight them all again and take them out of that group. OK, and then I'm going to put them all back into bus 1 while they're all highlighted. Whip, whip, now they're all in bus 1, OK. All right. But you know what? Yes, that's true. You could have done it that way to raise and lower the faded levels of all of them in the group, but there's another good reason to have groups of channels grouped together on a single stereo bus. All right. 96 degree. Besides being able to raise and lower that group easily, 96 degree. Relative to the rest of the mix, the, the other advantage, of course, is that if you look up this auxiliary channel strip which is now containing as a group all the backing vocal harmonies, of course, I can add EQ. All right. So look, I'll just roll off that bottom end. And I'm going to put some air on the top. I'm just going to dip the mids a fraction. OK. So now... With this EQ, um, I'm EQing the entire group of backing vocals to roll off the bass, slightly dip the mids and give them a bit of air up the top. And they now sound like this. 96 degrees in the shade. Okay. And without? 96 degrees. And with? 96 degrees. Okay, a bit finer, right? But of course... I can not only EQ the entire group of backing vocal harmonies, but I can hey, compress them. So I'm going to add a compressor. And um, choose an octo vocal. Alrighty, I'm going to set it so it should be a little bit pumping. Let's hear that. 96 degrees in the shade. Yeah, big difference, huh? 
And I'll tell you something. If you compress a stereo group of backing vocals or other instruments, it's not the same as putting a compressor on each individual vocal in the harmony, okay? Or each individual brass instrument in the brass section, or, or each individual guitar in the guitar layers, right? I mean, you can do that, but if you add a compressor across the whole lot as a stereo group, because all the individual channels are all grouped together on this single stereo channel strip and all of them together are going through the compressor, the compressor's envelope acts on the entire group of harmonies all together. And it has the effect of sort of tightening them up a bit because they're all being crushed by the same compressor envelope. Whereas if you put a different compressor on each one individually, each one would have its own compressor envelope, see what I mean? So it just has this subtle effect of sort of tightening things up a bit when, when things are grouped together like harmonies, yeah? 96 degrees That's a little bit loud, is it not? 96 degrees in the shade 96 degrees and of course I could then put them through a bit of reverb. So I'm not going to choose a big heavy reverb because of the screen grab software. I'll choose the gold verb. And I'll just lower the mix. I don't want them drowned in reverb. And now they're going through this channel EQ. I'll actually boost the air a little bit more. Whoops. Boost the air a little bit more. Probably it'll add sibilance, but what the hell. Um, so they're going through the EQ, through the compressor, and then a touch of reverb is being added to the whole lot as a group. And uh, they sound like this. 96 degrees in the shade. And whilst they have got those effects on, I can raise and lower them in the mix relative to everything else. And they still keep all their effects and EQ and reverb and everything. 96 degrees in the shade. I can still go back and tweak an individual harmony if I want to, to change the balance of the whole group. 96 degrees in the shade. Okay, so that's the other reason why it's better to use a bus and group channels on a on, a, on an auxiliary channel strip all together on a, on a stereo fader because you can add effects across the whole lot and EQ. That's why it's better to do that than using the mute group or the automation group rather to raise and lower all the faders together. All right, because grouping things onto a, a bus on their on its own stereo channel strip allows much more than just raising and lowering that group relative to the rest of the mix. It allows you to group compress them, group EQ them, and group affect them. Okay, okay, let's move on.